Hey guys, Eric here from Cheap Ass Reviews, and this week a review of a camera I picked up thrifting at Goodwill, the Canon S95. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Back in the day, no high school graduation, college graduation, or doggy daycare graduation was complete without a trusty point and shoot camera. Some say their cost led to their ubiquity. Others say it was the ease of use and modern design. Others still say I'm just making up everything in this review. Well, two of those are the truth, and one is a liar. Back in the day, 10 megapixels, 28 to 105 millimeter equivalent, and a bright screen made it a dream, striking the balance between power and portability. It even had 720p video. <laughs> Holy smokes! That was 10 years ago, though. A lot has changed in the meantime. With smartphones stampeding into the marketplace, almost everyone has a decent camera in their pocket. So in order to rationalize carrying the S95 every day, you either don't have a smartphone, or you think the S95 is going to outperform your daily driver. So enough yipper yappering, let's look at some sample photos. I seldom live life in the fast lane, but in order to get some sample shots for you guys, I briefly lived a life of luxury. We're talking Major League Baseball, drinks at bars with other people, a trip to the Amazon Spheres, and a stumble through Pike's Place Market. You can thank me in the comments. You'll see that it's more than adequate when there's plenty of light, but the picture quality quickly falls apart in low light. By today's standards, the camera is slow and produces noisy low light photos. It has bad dynamic range, and a bright light can carve through your picture like a hot knife to a stick of butter. That being said, my favorite shot from this whole testing experience was taken during golden hour in some tall building's dark shadows. It's a little blurry, but it captures the moment so well, the cats were just having one hell of a night out on the town. The video quality, although 720p, is still fairly decent. Sure, you have some of the same issues with low light, but the colors seem fairly true to life with the exception of some nasty vertical banding. Uh, it captures the reality of the world quite nicely. Hell, for your enjoyment, I created a short motivational film, a uh, hope eternal or whatever. Uh, so without further ado, a world premiere of my film by Eric from Cheap Ass Reviews. Sundance? Probably not. After the video test, my intention was to send it over to my friend Chris, who uses uh, disposable cameras on big trips, so I thought that this would be a suitable replacement for that and a good gift. In the end though, the thought of giving him the camera seemed more like an insult than a welcome addition. You see, he just picked up a mid-tier smartphone and started using Instagram. His phone is all the things the S95 is and more. It's small, lightweight, glossy, and takes okay pictures and video. The S95 may have been great for 2010, but eight years later, it's no more than a large paperweight. Sure, you can still record memories, but there's no reason to bring it along when you have an internet-capable, social media internet smartphone. Which reminds me, if you want to prevent me from having a mental breakdown, uh, comment down below the video, hit that like button, uh, subscribe, uh, and turn on the bell notifications because I just wasted an entire day making this video. I'll see you next Thursday.